Hi, welcome back to XG Doctor Wellness. My name is Dr. Chen Yiming. The topic we will be talking about today is urinary tract infection in females. Now, if you're watching this and you want to know more about urinary tract infection in males, stay tuned for the male edition next week. Urinary tract infection or UTI is so common in females. What are the causes? What are the symptoms? And how can it be treated? Should you see a doctor if you suspect urinary tract infection? Watch till the end to know more about it. And if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button now. I would first like to introduce the urinary system in the female. The structures involved may be the urethra, the bladder, the ureta, and the kidneys. The urethra and the bladder constitutes the lower urinary tract and above the bladder will constitute the upper urinary tract. Urinary tract infection is when an organism causes an infection anywhere along the system and most of the time it's due to a bacteria infection. Patients with lower urinary tract infection may present with symptoms of burning sensation during urination, increased urgency to urinate, frequent sensation of needing to pass urine, cloudy, smelly urine, blood in the urine, and sometimes pain in the lower abdominal area. Occasionally, the infection may spread beyond the bladder to the ureters and kidneys, causing upper urinary tract infections. When infections involve the upper urinary tract, it can be potentially life-threatening if the bacteria moves into the bloodstream. This may result in dangerously low blood pressure or even death. Early symptoms of urinary tract infection includes fever, chills, pain in the upper back and sides, nausea and vomiting, extreme feeling of unwell. All UTI need proper treatment. If you have the above symptoms, please see your family physician or urologist urgently. The investigations that I do in my clinic for lower urinary tract infection includes firstly, the urine deep stick. These are very convenient tests that can be done in the clinic with results obtained within 5 to 10 minutes. This allows me to confirm the diagnosis of urinary tract infection on the spot. Secondly, urine form element microscopic examination or UFIM for short and urine cultures can be done. These tests are done and sent to the laboratory for visual confirmation of the urine infection and for identification of the bacteria that is causing the infection. These results may take 3 to 5 days to return. The results are important as it guides us in the appropriate use of antibiotics. However, if I do suspect an upper urinary tract infection, I would then refer the case to the emergency department in the hospital or urgently to a urologist on the same day for inpatient treatment which would almost always include intravenous antibiotics. Treatment-wise, I would encourage the patient to drink plenty of water to flush the bacteria out of the system. Secondly, I would start the patient on oral antibiotics. The most common ones that we do give includes augmentin or ciprofloxacin. In most cases, the symptoms would resolve within 2-3 to three days of starting the antibiotics. Finally, I would like to share with you some of the common causes of UTI and how to prevent it from happening. In females, the common cause of urinary tract infection are sexual intercourse, use of condoms, spermicides, and lubricant jellies, during menses as blood can attract bacterial growth, menopause, weakened immune system due to diabetes or chemotherapy, not drinking enough water or holding your bladder, prolonged immobility or bed rest. Some of the simple everyday steps that you can do to reduce your chance of urinary tract infection includes drinking 6 to 8 glasses of water throughout the day to stay hydrated. Go to the toilet when you have the urge. Don't hold your bladder. Pass urine and wash up after having sexual intercourse. Change your choice of contraception like condom or diaphragm if you suspect that it is the cause for your infection. Always remember to clean yourself from the front to the back after toileting to prevent bacteria from your rectum from contaminating the urinary system. So recognize the symptoms of UTI, see your doctor early for appropriate treatment as soon as possible to prevent serious consequences. There are possible steps you can do to reduce your chance of getting an infection. So start practicing them now. Thank you for watching till the end. Subscribe, like and share this video if you find it beneficial. Remember to catch our episode next week on urinary tract infection in males. 
Till the next time, stay safe and stay healthy.